Welcome, we've got uh, Scott Nerlick here today. He's going to do our club legend of the week. He's from the Brighton Football Club in Division 3. Welcome, Scott. Thanks a lot for having me. Um, you're going to be our club legend of the week, mate. Uh, tell us a little bit about your footy career, where it all started, school and Yes, club. I guess Dad got me out to well, start school footy. Oh, year three, probably seven or eight, something like Whereabouts? that. Whereabouts? Uh, at Hallett Cove. Hallett Cove? Cove yeah, played there for, just, just played school footy for the first couple of years. Yep. Went down to Brighton uh, when I was about 10, played there till I was end of 18. Yeah. Um, went overseas for a little while, started an apprenticeship and sort of just gave footy away for a couple of years. Mm. Uh, ended up back at Brighton when I was 21 and I've been there for the last six years, five or six years now. So, um, so went overseas and did that to uh, yeah, get away from Did all that for a bit, yeah, sort of, I guess, three a year life up. experience and um, sort of different side of the world and, and uh, came back and tried, came to a few pre-season, I, I tried pre-season first year and second year and just wasn't, I was struggling a bit with doing my trade and, uh, and playing and mm. then uh, one year just clicked and uh, I was happy to be there and yeah, I haven't looked back ever since, I'll play for as long as I can now. So. So you've been in the A-grade side a fair while now? Uh, no, I've played um, most of last year and all, and all of this year with the ones um, and had had two or two years in the twos and had a year off in the middle of where I'm sort of for work purposes. Um, but yeah, sort of last year I sort of probably started committing myself a lot more to footy. Um, yep. Always thought I trained hard and I com was committed, but I would probably try and take it to a different level last year and it yep. sort of paid off. So yeah. And whereabouts do you play on the over? Playing the guts most of the time. In the midfield yeah. there? Midi, yeah, midfielder. Um, I, I can swing back. Uh, I can, actually, I can I sort of uh, this year. I've always always starting the guts, but depending on injuries and, and stuff like that, I've swung forward, swung back. Um, so do you rotate forward or come to the bench or a bit of everything? Yeah, we just do we do a bit of a three way a road, three way rotation. Sometimes we we'll do it on the ground, sometimes off. Um, just depends on matchups and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, it sort of varies. It's good; it keeps it fresh. But getting used to sort of the same guys we sort of rotate with most weeks now and get used to playing with them. So. Yeah, you've got to have those two or three minutes now just to uh, on the sidelines to, to... Oh, definitely, yeah. You know, just suck a bit of air in and... Well, the way uh, we go, it's, drink. yeah, it's 110% for as long as you can go, get off, get a couple of breaths in and go again. So there's no point being knackered on the ground. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, the way the footy's played now, there's, um, you know, it's uh, all moving forward. Um, do, you, do you play a press? Yeah, we play press, yeah. yeah. Play press. Um, yeah, so we've sort of been... Probably working on that for the last couple of years. Like maybe, got to be maybe extremely three. fit to play that press sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, just got to, and you've got to probably, as much as fitness, probably just really good communicators, getting used to other players that play on your side as well, um, and not being scared of telling someone where they need to be. So um, yeah, it's probably a thing which we've developed over the last few years and starting to work pretty effectively. I think. Um, it's just funny we're doing some live broadcasting games and we've done a lot of Division One games and Division Two. And they play like a full ground press where you can have 36 blokes in a third of the oval. And then you see some division three, four, five, six, and they play man on man around the ground. So you can see those who play the press and who doesn't, you yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. then you can see a few coaches who watch too much AFL footy and uh, try to implement the press when their players aren't fit enough. Yeah, it's exactly right. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones where the press, if it's every now and then it might get out the back. And um, you know you can score pretty heavily against it if it gets out the back, but that's just a matter of sort of doing it properly, communicating with the boys, making sure they're in the right spots. And um, certainly we see moving forward the press is you know like as you said, you've got to have div it. one, div two sides. You've got to have it. You need to be pressing really well. So it's this year's been a great opportunity for us to refine it again. And uh, now that we know we'll be moving up, uh, I guess we'll yeah we'll move forward with that. Yeah. Did many of the other Division Three sides have it? You saw. Well, I'd say half, half didn't, and half didn't. probably two or three of them did not that well. A couple, it depends. You know, sometimes it worked really well for them, but have to be fair to get it to get it going for for four quarters um, really well it takes a lot of concentration and fitness, like you said. So it's the fitness because even at Division One level, they their skills start to drop off in that last quarter. They don't hit targets as they yep. get tighter and tighter, sort of thing. So yeah, so and that's when it can become really effective yeah. as well. Lock it. once you've you know. We, we like to think that once we've got it in our 50s, it's, it's not coming out not coming too out. easily. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. Uh, some club uh, sponsors, mate. 
Yeah, so we've got probably probably big five of the club sponsors. So we've got um, Mega down the bay. It's Mega Adventure, like high ropes course yep. down there. Um, we've got Wade Morgan. He's got Morgan's Cranes, commercial uh, domestic crane hire and, and their operators as well. Um, Ray O'Hara has come aboard this year. He uh, owns a company called Own Home. They do mortgages and they also do just loans for general commercial and, and uh, uh, domestic borrowing needs. Mm. Um, we've got the Broadway Hotel. Yep. Um, spent Good a bit pub. of time down there. Great pub. And uh, get down there for dinner when we can, Prezos, and even breakfast after rehab Sunday mornings. And I guess um, so head, our, to, head to Brighton Beach for rehab. Uh, we head down. Well, we do we go to Brighton Beach sometimes, and we we'll also go down sort of by the bay where the Broadie is. So. So it depends if see what, see what we want to do. But, depends um, if you're just on the way home from town or yeah, exactly. You're always closer. Yeah. Um, and then our, I guess our big sponsor, which has been with us for a long time, is the Brighton Foodland. Um, and you know we've spent we've been partners with them for a fairly long time, and, and they've been really good to us. So Brilliant. So that's good. And uh, House Inspect Australia pay for me to play footy. So excellent. Shout out to them as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks for being our club legend of the week. No worries.